Hey guys, Autumn here, and welcome to, uh, testing watercolors, I guess. Um, so today I am testing out the Sennelier watercolors. They are a honey-based French watercolor that I ordered when I got art supplies from Jackson's, which I will be having in art haul very soon. I just have to finish filming it. Um, but I was very impatient and really, really wanted to try this, so... I decided to do a couple portraits and you saw in the beginning I showed you the box, I opened them, I showed you the tubes. Um, I made pans almost immediately so they could start to dry but they are still extremely sticky because of the honey that they are made with. So I don't know if they'll ever really dry but they'll, they're almost dry now. I'm using my Strathmore watercolor sketchbook that I used a couple videos, ooh, pardon me, a couple videos ago and I took a very long time trying to finagle the skin tone for this because you get the primaries in orange and uh, Payne's gray in the set. So it's not something I've done before where I mix a skin tone based off of primaries, so it took me a very long time to get this mixture even close to correct. Um, so the colors in the set are uh, a Payne's Gray, Chinese Orange, Ultramarine Deep, Bright Red, and Lemon Yellow. I used uh, pure forms of the colors for certain things, like I used the Bright Red for the lipstick, for her shirt, I used it for the blush, but I toned it down, just watered it down a bit. Um, I used the Payne's Gray for the left girl's hair and the Chinese Orange for the... Oh, no. I used the Payne's Gray for the right girl's hair and the... Chinese orange for the right girl's hair. And I used, um, I think that's it. Oh, and I used the ultramarine deep for the right girl's eye. Other than that, most of the colors are mixed and I tried to get the most realistic colors I could, at least when it came to skin tone and shadowing. I messed around a bit because I wasn't sure how well they layered and interacted with each other, but I probably should have let certain things dry before I kept layering them. Uh, the hair actually was fine. I, As you see, I take quite a while here to layer it and get the colors correct. Um, I did try to use the Payne's Gray for shading as well, but I didn't water it down the first time I did that. And I'm also using it for the line art on the right girl, as you can see. Um, I'm using the a quill brush from Jackson's that I will show in the uh, haul video as well. It is just like a really thick pointed brush and it's super nice because you can get really nice wide washes but you can also do very small fine details which is what I was doing on the girl's face for her line work and for her eyelashes and things. Uh, I actually really like this brush and I plan on getting more in the future just so I have quite a bit of them. This is one of the smaller sizes. I think it's the second it's not the smallest, it's the closest to the smallest though, so there's one smaller than it. Uh, and then there's a bunch of giant ones, but I don't think I would need giant ones considering how small I work. So I'll probably get the one that's smaller than it at some point and then one size bigger. And then I'll probably stop buying the quill brushes. Uh, it is really nice though. I don't know if it is natural or synthetic hair, but it holds a lot of water, so I barely have to dip it in in order to activate my paint. Um, so I basically just wanted to use the Sennelier to test what colors I could get, what kind of mixtures they do, how well they mix, if they stay wet when they are mixed, and I can say definitively they stay wet when they're mixed. My palette was still pretty wet after filming this and this took about two hours, so the skin tone that I made at the beginning of it was still soaked by the time I finished. Um, I mixed the deep, the ultramarine deep and the yellow for the eyes on the left girl because I figured the green would be a nice contrast from her hair and her shirt. So I went with that. Her eyes did not actually dry when I was painting this. They kept wet for most of it and they were pretty sticky. So I decided to dab up most of the liquid off of it so they could dry and I wasn't waiting three hours for the paint to dry. And then I gave her pupils and did her eyelashes and such. Um, this is actually not the first video I recorded today. I recorded another one with uh, Copic markers that didn't film right. 
and I tried to film another painting that I will redo in the future, but it just didn't come out right. Uh, I'm actually using a new camera. I'm using a Logitech C C922 Pro, which is uh, a Logitech webcam, obviously, and I'm using that for the top-down shots today so I can get a clear picture and I don't have to worry about the camera battery dying. I'm still going to be using my other camera, but I'm going to use it more for pictures and more side shots of pretty things. So that's about all I have to say for this video, and I will hopefully see you guys on Friday. If not, this is probably going to end up being Wednesday's video, so I will see you next Wednesday. Bye, everyone. Hey guys, if you like this video, be sure to check out another one over there, and if you want to see the full playlist for this series, check out over here. Thank you for watching, and subscribe if you like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone!